As you're headed out the door this morning, it's going to be a little bit of a shock to the system. We're tracking at temperatures that are as much as 10 degrees cooler across Carbondale and 11 degrees cooler across Harrisburg than they were this time 24 hours ago. We're seeing 39 this morning for Carbondale. That is our cool spot. 43 across Harrisburg and 41 for Mount Vernon. We're still into the upper 40s and even a few lower 50s further two hours south across western Kentucky and northwestern Tennessee. As we go throughout the rest of the morning, you certainly can't expect these cooler temperatures to stick around. Partly cloudy skies and seasonable conditions are expected as we get into the afternoon, but widespread rain and storms are going to return as we get into the day on Saturday and Sunday. Area wide this morning, we do have a system of high pressure just off to our north and towards our west. That's helping us stay clear this morning, but just off to our west, we are tracking our next system and it's into parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. This is going to track across our area as we go throughout the weekend. Absolutely beautiful conditions though this morning. Thanks to that high pressure across Carbondale. Look at all those colors out there on the trees. As we proceed throughout the next couple of hours, you can expect to see a mix of sun and clouds across our region. Here's the projected radar and cloud cover by about 7 a.m. Again, partly cloudy skies for most of us. That high pressure is going to kind of hang around as we go throughout most of the day today. You can still expect to see partly cloudy skies by 2 p.m. And we will still see partly cloudy skies by 8 o'clock this evening, even though that high High pressure is going to be working its way north and east overnight tonight. You can expect to see increasing cloud cover and as early as six o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll likely see a few isolated showers enter our western counties. Now those are going to slowly track off towards the north and towards the east. By lunchtime tomorrow, I do expect us to see widespread often on rain chances as we go throughout most of the afternoon. And even as we get into four o'clock, those storm chances are still going to be lingering across our region. Now a warm front is going to be just off to our south and west by 4 p.m. As we go throughout Saturday evening, that is going to be lifting further off towards the north and towards the east and providing more instability for showers and a few thunderstorms to linger overnight Saturday headed into Sunday. Now I don't expect anything severe, but we certainly again could see a few rumbles of thunder here and there. Now, even through Sunday morning, we'll likely continue to see a few of those showers, but a cold front is going to enter in from our west starting Sunday morning, and it's going to quickly track from west to east as we go throughout most of the day on Sunday. By one o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, we are going to be mostly sunny and will likely experience cooling temperatures behind that front. Now we are going to be dry as we kick off next work week on Monday and Tuesday, but another system is going to move through as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. So it's certainly helpful to keep the storm track three app right there in the palm of your hand. You'll be able to keep an eye on all of our shower chances again today. We're going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds likely topping out very close to average around 62 degrees for most of us. Skies are going to be partly cloudy and you can expect to see a northeasterly wind of about 10 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow morning. We are going to be fairly chilly. We're talking about morning lows in the mid 40s will likely be into the mid to upper 50s by 11 lower 60s tomorrow afternoon for high temperatures. But notice as that warm front lifts north, we'll likely see those temperatures even as late as 7 or 8 o'clock warm into the lower to mid 60s once again. So again, we're likely going to see that warm front move through temperatures increase topping out at around 70 for Saturday with mostly cloudy skies and a scattered chance for showers in the morning. But then the, that chance really does fall off as we get into the afternoon and evening hours 70 for Sunday, but notice we'll be back in the mid 60s by Monday and Tuesday. It'll be a little bit cooler, but still well above our average high of 60 for this time of year. 67 Tuesday or Wednesday and Thursday as another storm system approaches our region.